Two years ago was the last time I ever kicked a football in an 11 a side match. I walked into a cup final. I had my captain's armband on up here. I walked out of that match with silverware. We won 5-2 and I took that trophy home. And I always felt like at that point, that was the moment where it was time to put the football down, take those boots off and to walk away from the game. I did just that. Now, a problem with me being is that, well, when I got my YouTube videos and you cast it, I just haven't got the dedicated time where I can spend up on football anymore. So I can't do Sunday League, I can't do Saturday League. So, I mean, for me, it was just, there was no alternative. There's nothing I really could do. So uh, I felt like it was the right choice to walk away. And yeah, I always felt like that was going to be it. But as you can see in the title of this video, I am playing next week, Friday the 14th of October, in the Newcastle United Legends match against the Manchester All-Stars team. So thank you so much to the event organisers for giving me an opportunity to play with Newcastle United Legends. How could I say no to that? Of course, I'm going to be there. And pretty much this video today is me explaining the event to you, letting you know who is playing in the match now. I can only tell you some names at this moment of time because, well, players are still subject to change. So... If I come out now and tell you certain players that could be there and they don't, and they don't turn essentially, then I don't want to disappoint you guys. I can only tell you players that are 100% are definitely doing the match. So I can tell you those ones, but I just can't tell you a kind of a big amount of players at this minute. So yeah, if you are new to the channel, make sure I get down there, hit that subscribe button. Yes, there will be a vlog at this game. There will be videos from this match. There's a heads up for you straight away. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss them. Also, get down there, smash the like button as well. And finally, question of the day. If you could have any Newcastle United legend playing this match, who would it be? That's just a, a genuine question. There's, there's nothing to this. I just want to know who you guys want to see the most. But anyway, though, without further ado, let's get into it. First off, I'll give you an overview of the event itself. We get through all the general information first. Where is it at? What time is it? How much is it going to cost? We just get that out of the way first. And afterwards, we'll talk about the more exciting part of what legends are going to be in attendance. So, as I said before, Friday the 14th of October is the day. That is two days before Newcastle are playing Manchester United away. So, it's almost like a Manchester theme weekend, which is, I think, a really good idea. Because, well, we're going to beat Manchester on the Friday and we're going to beat Manchester on the Sunday. So, I mean, what a weekend for Newcastle that is. I can't wait for both of those games. I can't wait to see you guys there. I can't wait to be at the game on the Sunday. It's just an all-round great time being a Newcastle fan. It's just, as well, the one-year anniversary after the take. It was a week after that as well. So just remember, on top of that, we support a club that is on the up. No longer stagnated, no longer in the in the crap. We are a team on the up. And it's only going to get better and better. But yes, as for the event information now, I'll put it on the screen here. So it is hosted by NUFC Matters now. A key part for me doing this event was the fact that it's in support of Newcastle United Fans Food Bank. Now, I know quite a lot of people that use the food bank. I know mates swallow it in there. And it hits me quite a lot, uh, especially in the UK, how many people had to use the food bank. So when I had the opportunity to kind of obviously promote the event and to essentially sell tickets, um, that was something I really wanted to do. Uh, it's something I have a lot of time for and it's something that I just want to give back to people. Uh, I want people not to be hungry especially at christmas time i know with the food bank it gets very hectic at the sun by time especially so yeah um i kind of just want to give back really so that was a key part of me doing that and as well obviously my fan i want to play only cast Knight legends of course i do but yeah that was a key part for me actually participating in this but yes as you can see there the time so we got a 7 p.m to half nine for the match itself and if you pay an extra five there you can stay an extra two hours for the pwd talking so as far as I'm aware, the Peter Beatty talking is for adults only, so people with kids, he essentially can only go to the game, as far as I'm aware. So yeah, uh, the actual tickets will be in the pinned comment down below if you want to buy and you just want to check them out yourself. So £5 adults, £2 children, really good amount of money. And as I said before, some of the money or all the money, I'm not sure how much, but at least some of the money will go back to the food bank, which is key as well. That is huge for the food bank. So yeah, big fan of that. It's in North Shoes, as far as I'm aware, it's just a 4G pitch. It's not in a stadium or anything like that. So, yeah, uh, get there early. Obviously, you want a good view. And I think that's about it. I think I covered everything. North Shoes, Friday the 14th, 7pm 7, 7 where you can go in. And it finishes at half nine if you're just there for the match. And it's half 11 if you stay over the Peter Beatty talking. So, yeah, that's all the basics done. Without further ado, let's get into all the legends now. Let's get through the Manchester All-Stars team first. 
Only two players I can tell you about in this team. Well, as I said in the intro again, players are subject to change. I can only tell you players that the event organisers, I told me, will 100% do this match. So let's get these two out of the way first. Michael Gray is the first one. Sunderland legend. 12 years he's played for Sunderland. 363 matches. He's essentially his youth career at Manchester United, which is how he's worked his way into this team. But still, I, I don't care. Sunderland legend. I'll be eyeing him up during the game. I tell you that now. He was the Sunderland player that had missed the penalty against Charlton in that iconic playoff game that did not take Sun to the Premier League. I like A. But to be fair to him, Kevin Keegan, Newcastle legend, did pick him for England, so that says quite a lot about him. He must have been really good in his time at Sunderland. So, 12 years he's played for them, 363 matches. I'm looking forward to playing against him. That's, if I speak, I will be in big trouble. I prefer not to speak. But yeah, Michael, I'll see you there. Russell Beardsmore is the second player. Manchester United he spent seven years at that club. He was around in the class of 92 and eventually went to Bournemouth afterwards. So there's not much I can really say about him. A Manchester United he was kind of a rotation player for a bit before eventually being left out of the squad for better players. Obviously, during 1992, we just had so many good Manchester United players. I mean, it's just one of them ones, really. But yes, he's the second player that's going to be there. But anyway, now for the big ones. Let's go for the Newcastle United ones now. Now it's time for the big ones in the Castanated Legends team. I've been taught by the event organiser to tell you these following five players. So these five players are 100% playing the match. I'm allowed to tell you these ones. Now let's get the obvious one out of the way first. Peter Beardsley. Obviously he's going to be there. There's quite literally a talking from afterwards. So of course he's going to be in attendance. What do I say about Peter Beards that hasn't been celebrated? He is easily one of the best players that has ever played for this football club. Scored well over 100 goals for us in the midfield. Played for England in his peak at Newcastle. The guy's a living legend. What, what else do I say? One of the best players to ever kick a football for the black and white. And I can't wait to say him once again. Uh, obviously, if you watch my uh, Bournemouth vlog, I had a little interview with him on the channel. and I mean, you knew who I was. So listen, that was me planting the seeds Working the team chemistry already, so yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing him once again. But yeah, that's the first one and the obvious one. The second player that has been announced by the event organisers is Kenny Walton. So he's played at Newcastle from 78 to 89 in the first team and he was there in his youth career as well. He more or less was a one club legend. He went for Carlisle for one game, Bradford City for five games after that and then retired. So he was more or less a one club legend. Somebody had just dedicated his life to Newcastle United. So I, I can't speak about him on a personal level because, as I said, well, this is way before my town. He got memories, obviously, when I was alive, and then I got m memories in the 90s on DVDs. I've never watched Newcastle that far back. So uh, if any of you older fans, he'd probably be a player you love. But for me, I can only talk about what I've seen with Clipedia. And yeah, a lot of games for Newcastle. Spent his life here. I can't fault it at all. And he is the current manager of the Newcastle Blue Star team as well. So if you're a Newcastle Blue Star fan, then that's your gaffer, I'll put it. There's nothing more I can say about him. Spent his life in the cast now, and I've got to respect that dedication to any player. So, well done, Kenny. And uh, I'm looking forward to winning with you. Next up, he's only ever scored once for Newcastle, but he is very well known amongst the fan base, and that's Michael Chopper. Of course, his one goal came in adding to his last ever game, the iconic 4-1 win over Sunderland. At the time, I think the record lasted about eight years, but... He scored the quickest goal off the bench in Premier League history and it lasted until Sammy Anioby broke it. I think it was 2014 or something like that. So yeah, um, he had a quite a, a decent stint as well at Sun. I would say his time at Sun was better than his time at Newcastle, but he's mostly known for his time at Carl. I think that was, that was prime Michael Chopper, his time at Carl. But yeah, he still plays football now. Surprisingly, in 2022, plays for West Lockman Celtic. He still plays football to his day and he will be in the Newcastle United Legends team on that game. Moving on to the next one, Peter Ramage is the fourth player that has been announced by the event organisers. He is actually current Newcastle youth assistant, so he still works for this football club. Yeah, he spent four years at the club between 2004 and 2008, so when he left, it was essentially when we were screwed, really. So, yeah, I suppose he left at a good time. It's one of them ones where, again, I don't know an awful lot about the guy, but... As far as I'm aware, on yeah, I think Newcastle's probably the best time in his career, I would say. And again, fans will know who he is. The fifth and final player that has been announced in the Newcastle United Legends squad, for now, there's still plenty more that will get announced in due time, is John Hendry. So he spent one season at Newcastle between 1988 and 1989. 
Once again, I can't tell anything about him. I've got no memories of the guy. But it looks like on his stats there, his best time as a player was easy when he was at Middlesbrough. So, one impression you may get from this list here is that a lot of the players are going to be from the 80s, 90s, quite an older demographic. It's not the case at all. Um, I've been taught about all the players that the rest. Now, a lot of the players, I think it's quite a wide range, I would say. All I'm saying is that I'm very excited for some of the ones of us. I really hope they say yes. There's some players and I would love to play with. But anyway, I'm going to finish off the video now. It's been going on for quite a while. If you want to ask me any questions about the event, feel free to put it down in the YouTube comments section or get to me on Instagram and Twitter. I'm probably better replying in the, in the private messages, I would say. I just I don't know why I'm ever seen to be a bit better on there. But I promise I will get back to all of you guys. There's something that I'm really dedicated to. I, I want to see everyone enjoy themselves. Again, the food bank, it's something I really care about quite a lot. I just want to try and make as much money as possible for the food bank and just help them out because, I mean, it's just, it's just it's a bit shit, really, I would say. In this case now, with Christmas coming around, just in general, in the UK, there's far too many people that need the food bank. It's just it's just not good enough. But, yeah, uh, that's about it for me now. You should be very excited for this event. I can't wait to play in it. I can't wait to see what else is going on. Obviously, there are celebrity guests in there as well, which I guess I'm classed as a celebrity, which is kind of how I'm in the squad. I'm not Newcastle expert. I'm aware of that. But yes, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. Quite a lot of getting to there. Let me know your thoughts down below on the event itself. Would you be attending? And yeah, that's about it, guys. Take care, and I'll see you all in the next one.